Well, hello, 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 my Dolphiliacs, Disney lovers, and toy collectors. Um, I'm very excited today. This came in the mail while I was working from home, and I was very patient and endured a lot of strength to not open this box already, I can tell you. So I'm really excited we're going to get down to it. Now, this was a fast shipment, and um, so this is going to be the Mother Gothel doll in the Villains Designer collection. I think this series is from 2013. I should have looked that up before, but I think that it'll actually say on the box itself once we look into it. But yeah, I'm really excited. Um, I recently watched Tangled again um, with my love, Raymond, and we, yeah, I just like fell back in love with it. I, when it had first came out, me and my sister were obsessed with it. We watched it all the time, and I related so much to Mother Gothel. I think more than I would like to admit than to a lot of other villains that I love. And so, but just her obsessiveness and, um, but I mean, I related a lot to Rapunzel. Like the inner workings of my mind were very much the tower. Like I was Rapunzel and Mother Gothel. Like I was amazing at gaslighting myself. So yes, um, yay for Tangled. Oh, so um, I did get this on eBay and from a lovely seller and it was actually one in Texas. So it came pretty fast. Um, but yeah, they gave me a little note. It's so sweet, I love that. Thank you. Anthony, thank you for the purchase of Mother Gothel. Hope you enjoy. I think I will. You wanted me to be the bad guy? Now I'm the bad guy. Oh! And I didn't remember that she said that she, or they included the gift bag with, so it should be in here, but oh, mother knows best. Listen to your mother. Wow. Wow. Absolutely amazing. Let's get this material out of the way, but yeah. And it does come with this beautiful Villains Designer Collection bag. Uh, it's actually in better condition than this poor box, but you know, I did get her at a very wonderful price. So I am not upset at that at all. It's absolutely stunning. The There's this like, broke like this very is like a brocade kind of like ornamental um, feature right here at the base of uh, what is the display case of the doll but you can see mother gothel here just absolutely beautiful in this artwork i think it's steve thomas uh who is the designer of this um but yeah correct me in the comments if i am wrong on that or if i got his name but yeah, it says Trendy Terror, in parentheses, Mother Gothel. And I love this fuchsia theme along with the um, kind of the Victorian background that it has. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely stunning. Disney Villains Designer Collection. Um, yeah, it's absolutely phenomenal. Maybe Baroque is the word that I'm looking for. But yeah, it just has that beautiful ornamental style. Um, the back, yeah, this is the bag that it came with. And on it, you can, I guess, see the silhouetted um, artwork of all of the villains in this series, the skinny Ursula they did, which was pretty controversial. Um, I love the Ursula from Midnight Masquerade series myself. Um, and then I guess this is Queen of Hearts, Maleficent, which they've gotten better at doing her hair horns. I'll say that, Cruella. And 
uh, Evil Queen. And yeah. Oh, and then of course, Mother Gothel right there. Um, how, how could we forget, lest we not forget? Okay, so. Sorry, 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 I'm getting excited. So here we have Mother Gothel Trinity Terror with the secret of eternal youth safely locked in her tower. Mother Gothel is free to indulge her wicked sense of style combined with smothering mothering. As long as she has Rapunzel, there are no bad hair days. But yeah. Designed and carefully crafted to capture the essence of evil as it is best dressed, the Villains Designer Collection reimagines the stylish wickedness of classic Disney villains. Designed by Disney Store artists, this doll will be a treasured keepsake for collectors and Disney fans. And that is true. I'm very glad that it has now moved on to me. And this is really cool that these um, older dolls had actual, like, features that they wanted to highlight. They're like, no, girl, you have to, like... We don't trust you to just notice it, so we're gonna point it out. The sculpted flower accessory adorns up to dramatic eye makeup and rooted eyelashes. Like, yes, we know all that though. Burgundy wine colored satin dress. But yeah. But I don't see the date. I don't see the actual year on here. So somebody's going to have to, we'll have to put that in the description, but it is time. To actually see her. Let's make sure it's the right way. I think this will be the right way. Okay, we'll see. You can always just turn it around. Oh, and it is not that she's facing me and she's gorgeous. Oh my, oh my gosh. Look at her. Look at her. Stunning. Now she is in this display case, so I don't know how well we can get her without a glare. But she is absolutely phenomenal. Let's see if we can get a little better lighting on this girl. But yeah. It is just, she is just absolutely stunning. She definitely has a burgundy wine colored dress. It is absolutely gorgeous. And she does have the drop of the sunflower, the sun drop flower, for which she owes her unrelenting beauty. Though she does have to incessantly sing the song. But yeah, her hair is absolutely stunning. I do love that they gave her this updo and swept it all back. Even though I do, my favorite part of Mother, Mother Gothel is her huge eyes along with her um, very kinky curly hair. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And I love the color. Um, I thought it was going to be kind of more Gryffindor color, colors, but the it's definitely more of a gold than a mustard and the burgundy is less a when I think of it's more of a wine because the satin just gives it that gorgeous sheen that really adds more of a purple element pulling it more towards um you know the bluer side than the red but I Oh, uh, she would be amazing to debox because you can see that the train of her dress actually is folded upwards. So that would actually hang down and be stunning. Oh, uh, I would love to debox her. I do love that they gave her the matching manicure as well. And the swirling embroidery in the gold is just fantastic. It goes all the way up and reaches from the 
from the bottom touching the ground all the way up to her backside, which really makes it special because I know that there have been complaints or criticisms that the front part of her dress is uh, rather simple. I also love the tasseling feature at the bottom. It's almost like she has her own magic carpet <laughs> dress that turns into a magic carpet. But yeah, I love Mother Gothel. Um, as I was saying, I was getting back into Tangled and it was just falling in, falling in love with her animated facial features. And they did such a good job at capturing the face. I've seen other dolls that they have in this series, but I really think that they got the eyes right on this one. Not only is the makeup just stunning, the different shades of purple along with the inset pocket of the eye having that mustard color, but she's looking away and giving side eye in a way that's very symmetrical, which was missing from, I think, maybe the uh, fairy tale set with her and Rapunzel. Although I do love that set. And it's not that, she, it's just the way that they painted the particular eyes in that one. If I can ever do a review, I'll show you. But um, point it out. It just, it's symmetrical, but in a way where it looks off. But her nose on this one is amazing. The deep wine colored lip is just fantastic, especially that it's a deeper color than her actual dress. But just, yeah, look at this face that she's giving you. Oh, she is just serving, honey. She cannot be bothered. Why are you looking at her? She can't speak to you. <laughs> but yes, yeah, she's just stunning. But yeah, I would love to debox her. I will. I have not worked or like had a the style of uh, doll from Disney before, so I'm not sure exactly how to decase this. I know I've been told that it is difficult and it's difficult to reassemble, um, but I'm not opposed to trying. I will say that I'm also not opposed to potentially putting her on display outside of the box because she is just fantastic. And I think one of the, the most special features is the fact that she has the embroidery of the sun drop flower coming along. And then the, the swirling almost like mimics the magic of it, that the pollen that comes up that she breathes in in order to make her eternally youthful. A forever temptress, a forever seductress, you know, darling. And then I also did want to point out that these pan, these large panels also have this beautiful trimming of the gold satin. I think that's really special because not all of them do. See, this one does, for instance. And then there's another panel coming right under that has that gold one. But this back one has... A, it has a trim, but is in the burgundy. And just that contrasting is what makes this doll really special. So despite the criticisms that there have been of the front part of her gown and the simplicity here, you know, there's not even jewelry. She doesn't have a choker. She doesn't have a necklace. But I think that all the adornment is done at the base. And it, I... I think I am much more um, enamored with it in person um, because I was thinking like those criticisms, I'm like, yeah, I can see that. I can understand that. That makes a lot of sense. But seeing her up close and personal, yeah, I, I think that they did well to leave her some uh, simplicity up top. All right, well, thank you so much for watching this video. If you made it all the way through, like, you know, props to you. Thank you so much. But um, please like and subscribe, like. Go ahead and just, you know, like, dislike, just let me know. And then also, if you do know what year she came out and was produced, then go ahead and let me know in the comments as well. Thank you.